Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be running through the Bitcoin chart in today's video going through what I see as the most important support and resistance levels that we can see on the chart here locally. Uh, the current trade that I'm in, I'll be explaining this and uh, you know just giving you some insights of what we're looking for you know how the weekend action goes just a little playthrough here of the of the local local time frame that we're in um so ladies and gentlemen i hope that you really enjoyed the video you can learn something from it and uh yeah let, let's get straight into the analysis so bitcoin here you know how i've told you <laughs> i don't know how many times now <laughs> there is never ever a random pivot on the chart every single high and low that you see on this chart has got a technical reason behind it Okay, so for example, when we're looking at the, you know, the highs up here, the lows down here, the highs back up here, each of these pivots is extremely technical and has a valid reason behind it. So you're never just going to see price going somewhere and bouncing for no reason. So this is like, this is why, uh, you know, trading and your analysis is is so almost, like, you know, I'm going to say it's like addicting. It's very, you know, it just, you just get really nice, I suppose, dopamine rushes when, when you, you know, when you get some of these trades, you know, they, they act really nice. That's how you can get these, these sort of addictions. And uh, hey, at the end of the day, it's just a really nice, rewarding feeling when, when you nail some of the pivots. But at the end of the day, they all obviously are technical reasons so how do you get to find some of these pivots well you have to do your technical analysis so you know you're going to start with your blank charts you're going to work up your analysis and you're going to be finding yourself okay we have a really nice confluence here this is going to be a good short this is a really nice confluence here this is going to be a nice long this is a really nice confluence here. this is going to be a nice short for example you know you're looking for those confluences looking for those reasons to for the market to tell you this is a good time to long this is a good time to short okay so you're always looking for those for those reasons and, uh, you know, naturally, once you've got enough of those reasons, you're going to put your money on the trade and you're going you're gonna to take it. You know, you've got you to get to that point where you're executing your trades. It's not good enough to just do analysis. You have to get to the level of trading where you've done your analysis and then you have the confidence to put your money on that trade and not close out after five minutes. You know, hold that trade to your target. So not get into the mindset of doing the analysis, finding the setup and then closing out the trade too early. You know, you want to do your analysis, find your entries, find your targets and execute execute fully you know not getting scared not getting emotional just sticking to your plan so with that intro what do we have here on the bitcoin chart so i can give you the reasons why the rejection was here why the support was here why our next rejection was here where we're coming down to support okay so if we add a few things on the chart um let's do this really quickly then so what we had was obviously a high at sixty two thousand dollars and this was my entry uh sixty one thousand nine hundred ninety eight dollars um Hey, a little birthday surprise for myself of uh, of this entry. Some other people were getting in really similar entries, but basically, this sixty two thousand um, dollars. I mean, for me, there was a few reasons of of sixty two thousand dollars why I was happy to take it. Um, you know, sixty two thousand dollars. Big. You know, it's a, it's your next psychological level. You also had your regions. Okay, so this was a region, of course, but your regions of Fibonacci resistance. You had um oh yeah the high funding rate the high funding rate for me was actually a really big factor because it was a 0.3 percent funding rate so essentially you could take a short position up here and one would say it's fairly likely that price was going to be heading down here give or take 700 dollars and at the end of the day you're guaranteed 0.3 percent on the funding as well so yeah for me there, there, there was a you know we're talking about three to four different reasons of this region as, as a good short position in the end um you know myself and a few other people taking shorts at around 62k of course i'm not going to say this was an easy short i'm not going to say anything about it all i'm just going to say is hey there was a valid reason why we why we rejected up here uh we obviously make our way down overnight ladies and gentlemen so you really like so surprised <laughs> where this bounced from take our fibs from the low of the move up to the high of the move well look at this coming into the cc support so we had our rejection of $62,000, which, hey, I was showing. We come down to the CC. You know, this is, uh, you know, one would say uh, naturally a take profit. <laughs> no. Um, you know, you come down to your CC support. People are going to be longing here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you get your bounce of the CC. You make your way up again. Next pivot on the chart. So we've, I've explained this pivot high. I've explained this pivot low. And then this pivot high. Well, look at this. You come straight up into your point of control highest volume transacted within the last day we come up into that point of control and straight back down in terms of your rejection 
So we can we can clearly understand what's going on thus far. We've put in our high, we've put in a pivot low, and then we've put in a secondary pivot high. Obviously, we're heading down right now. And I always think in the market, you have to be prepared for upside, you have to be prepared for downside. Um, so what's our next level of support? In my opinion, if we break this, if we break this low, obviously, currently, we're not quite. So if it holds, it holds and we can make our way back up. But if, if we break this low, then we need to be prepared for the next level, don't we? And in my opinion, if we break this pivot low, I would be looking towards $60,000. You know, it's our big psychological level, uh, even bigger than 62k, like $60,000 now, it obviously was resistance. And then when you break your resistance, one looks for it to act as support, no? So if we break the pivot low of the, you know, the CC support that was put in here, then we would be looking, in my opinion, just down to towards $60,000. Again, might, might not hit it, but I think you've got to be prepared for that level should we get down to it. You know, you're looking at $60,000, $59,900, you know, which is a very, very tight zero, you know, half a percent, give or take, uh, of 60K. You know, big resistance, we've broken it. One would imagine it's going to flip into support. Obviously, if you start to break down from $60,000, hey, well, obviously the support didn't hold and, and you'd look naturally for lower. But as it stands, one second. Sorry, this is the problem when I try and do my videos when I'm waking up on a Sunday morning. <laughs> my, my, my man. Uh, anyway, where I was where I was saying with this, um, I can't even remember what I was just saying. I was, I was just saying, yeah, you need to be prepared for the levels, I suppose. And if, if you lose 60K, when ob well, obviously you look down towards your lower levels. That's out of the scope of today's video. I just want to go over really locally here for you. Um, so obviously, to remind you all what I what, what, what my local levels are, uh, CC support. I mean, this is, you know, you can see here it's still holding. This is the three minute chart. Uh, you know, it's still absolutely, it's still holding as it stands. But I think I want to help you and make you aware of the levels should you break down from this. And then the next level I would look towards is really simply sixty thousand dollars. If you lose, if you lose sixty thousand dollars. Mm, well, I, I suppose you're going to head to, down back down towards the lows, which is around fifty nine thousand five hundred dollars. Um, if you start to lose, if you start to lose that, I think it's going to look not great um, because then you're going to enter this this uh, inefficiency and hey you might even get your fills down at the weekly i don't want to go over such a bearish scenario because yeah not in the not in for this video but um yeah i just feel you got to be a little bit prepared i suppose <laughs> maybe, maybe you know for a drop to the downside um but i don't want to become i don't want it to seem like i'm really bearish right now because i'm, I'm not really bearish i am really simply you know the way that i always trade i'm i'm, I'm neutral i i have no but bearish overline underlying bias or bullish underlying bias. Like really simply, I am just trading the charts. I just trade what I feel is the most probable. Okay. So when I'm, and by the way, um, that was probably one of the best shorts you're going to see on the Bitcoin chart in terms of entry. 61,998, the high literally 60, $62,000. So, you know, within, within uh, less than, less than $2 of the high, uh, all time highs on Bitcoin. But nevertheless, you know, um, this was our, this was our high. And then we make our way down to the low. And obviously, you know, this is the thing. I'm not only going to be saying, oh, this is only a shorting market. You know, here you have your bounce off the CC. You come back into your point of control here, but you're back down to the CC again. So you could get your double bottom here. So this is obviously considered a bullish pattern when you get almost like this double bottom um, for, for support. So, you know, I personally have no underlying bias at the end of the day, um, you know, you, you, you know we head to support and I generally i'm going to say yeah this is really you know this is the time you look for longs you head up to resistances i'm going to say well this is generally the time you look for shorts so of course i would not short here because i don't short support and i'm not going to long here or here because you know what i'm never going to long into resistance so the way that i approach the market is you know when you when you move up you look for shorts when you move down you look for longs um so yeah i would never ever in my life short where we are here um because that's just not my style of trading. <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously this point of control there is coming in at around sixty-one thousand four hundred dollars. Sorry, um, just just so you're aware, some people can't see the numbers. So you got that intraday support around basically sixty thousand dollars. If you lose sixty thousand dollars, obviously it's going to look slightly more bearish. I would I would have thought at least down for another five hundred dollars. You lose that, hey, maybe you see the weekly again. Um, you got your intraday resistance around sixty-one thousand four hundred. If you break sixty-one thousand four hundred. Yeah, I could foresee another all-time high coming, pushing back up above sixty-two thousand dollars. To be fair, is not much above you if if you break break back above that point of control. Um, 
Yeah, so you got you got that pretty important resistance. I'd say 64, 61 thousand. Let's just say sixty one thousand five six hundred. Let's just just say sixty one thousand six hundred. If you break above this, which is obviously that going to be the high of your high volume nodes coming into the CCs, then yeah, I would imagine what we see another all time high. Okay, um, so essentially, like this is the way that I'm approaching it. I know my levels of support and resistance, and I know the levels that I want to trade. And really simply, you do, you need, you're going to do things like this. You're going to place alerts where you want to get involved again. And really simply, especially on a weekend, you know, I'm not I'm not going to be here 24 hours a day on the weekends because I've got other things to do. Um, so what I like to do on the, especially on the weekend, is place alerts at my key reference levels where I would be willing to come back to the computer. And it has to be worth my while. You know, if I'm going to come to my computer on the weekend, I have to be making some pretty decent money on it. So I want to place my alerts where I feel I've got a high probability trade, which is worth my time even coming to the computer. And if it, if the alert doesn't come off, I'm not going to take the trade. Um, so I feel that, you know, some really key levels is obviously, well, I could say, oh, you've been actually, it's above 61,600 because you're probably going to head to all time high. I would have thought if we break above that, um, you know, in, in the intra, intraday here, obviously have our CC support currently. Uh, if that breaks down, I'd be looking down towards 60K. So you have those pretty important intraday. Again, this is intraday. This video is definitely only aimed at day traders. Um, you know, these levels are probably not even going to be relevant tomorrow. But hey, in the intraday, you got your 60K level, you got your 61,000, let's just say 61,600, which is around your high volume node. Uh, those are your pretty key levels, which I would say is probably worth coming to the computer for because you're probably going to get at least a 1% bounce off of that. Um, at, at the very least, okay, sometimes you can take scalp trades that end up being swing trades. You know, you enter it as an initial position and, uh, you know, the bounce is really good or the rejection is really good. And then suddenly what, what you only envisioned being a, a quick scalp trade ends up lasting days. You know, that happens to me quite a lot. I'll take an initial position, be like, hey, I'm, I'm happy to sculpt this. And, uh, you know, then the reaction is way, you know, way uh, better than anticipated. And, and suddenly you have yourself a, a swing trade. So, you know, nice position to be in, I suppose. But at the end of the day, what does it all come down to? It comes down to kind of just briefly, very quick overview, as I've taught you through here in this, what, 10 minutes. Uh, you, want, you want to do your analysis. You want to work out the levels you want to trade. And then you have to have you know, the confidence to actually put your money on that trade, uh, hold it to your targets, not get scared, not just because we're all time highs thinking, hey, I can't short in this market because, you know, I'm, I'm giving you pretty good evidence. I think, again, I'm not here to put anyone down. I'm not here to do anything. All I'm here to do is say, hey, my trades do all the speaking that I need. Um, you know, how can people say that you cannot short in the bull market? Because here is a 10% gain on a short position from literally absolute high, absolute all time high on Bitcoin currently. Again, I would envision that this is taken out if we if we break above our resistance. So this is not me thinking I'm an, I'm an ultra bear. I'm just thinking, hey, I see a level. I want to trade it. Um, so, you know, there, there's, there's my analysis. This is really the summary then of the analysis. Um, summary on, on Bitcoin. I really can tell you pretty certain with a high degree of certainty why we're bouncing here okay we're into the cc once again with a with a almost double bottom i'll give you this why we rejected here point of control I'll give you why we rejected here because we had like three different confluences on the psych big psychological level as well as bigger traders just market shorting this hey <laughs> um you then have your i've given you your next level of support should you lose the cc i've given you next, your next level of resistance should you break the point of control and i've given you that my opinion would be that we break above into a new all-time high if we break back above this resistance if we break back below 60 gav and you head towards 59,500 if you lose that i'd be um I, I guess i could just foresee a high potential of of, of back testing the weekly i don't know i must admit i'm not really massively bearish right now i mean this is the thing i'm trading it level to level if we, we're currently at the end of the day we're still at the cc support we're still above sixty thousand dollars so you know, I totally understand why people are really bullish right now. Uh, that we're in a massive bull market. We're at all-time highs. You know, so it doesn't make sense to be a perma bear, does it? You know, you, at the end of the day, you want to trade the charts. Just trade the highest probabilities. Trade it level to level. And, uh, you know, don't get into a bias of, I only want a short Bitcoin. I only want a long Bitcoin. You know, just do what the chart's telling you, not what you feel, not what you want. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you want. It doesn't matter what I want. It doesn't matter what anyone wants. The only thing that matters is what the chart is telling us. The chart doesn't lie. The chart gives us the best levels. And this is all derived from our technical analysis. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's offered you some insights. And um, oh yeah, before I end, 
Um, yeah, we've obviously got the giveaway going over on, on, on Instagram. So if you want to win a cap like this, um, really, really simple. All you have to do to enter the uh, giveaway is create an Instagram post, which is a post just like this, uh, with either your trading setup, so a picture of your computer, or your best winning trade. Uh, upload that to Instagram, put hashtag chart champions, and you will be in the giveaway. Okay, so you'll be entered in with a lot along with all these other people that have entered. Um, so if that's of interest to you, that's the giveaway that we're starting right now. Uh, is there anything else that I wanted to mention? Um, no, I don't really think there is. Um, so there you go, everybody. I've given you my level. This is way longer than what I thought. 15 minutes. Too long. I'm really sorry. It's too long. Sometimes I just get carried away. Uh, I've given you my levels of support, levels of resistance. Current trade that I'm in, but emphasizing this has already hit take profits. So, you know, I'm not... I'm not an ultra bear right now. I'm just going to trade the charts. I've given you all my levels. Hope you've enjoyed. And um, oh yeah, before I end, two more things. Sorry, sorry, there is two more things. We do have a champions live stream tonight. And tonight's live stream is hosted by Mike. Uh, Mike is a coach at Chart Champions. Uh, he done the contenders one on Wednesday and he's doing the champions one tonight. Then it will go back to normal hosted by myself. So I will be back on the uh, live streams again Wednesday, Sunday going forwards. Um, but for a special episode tonight, Mike is going to be hosting this one and I'll be back again next week. And um, obviously all of this video, all the information, all of the levels, all the trades, etc. All of this is a big, important legal and trade disclaimer that this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is an entertainment, educational video only. And um, you're yeah, very important that you understand the legal disclaimer here. So, um, yeah. That's everything that I wanted to go through. Thank you ever so much, everybody. And um, yeah, I'll be watching this live stream tonight uh, in the chat and Mike will be hosting it. If that's of interest to you, um, yeah, check it out on chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant day and goodbye. Cheers.